the authority of Abi Burda, who narrates on the authority of his father, Abi Musa al Ash'ari, that Abu Musa al Ash'ari, the companion, said when he was passing away, O oh my sons, Udkuru Sahib al Raghif. O oh my children, remember always the story of the man and the loaf of the bread. A companion of the Prophet is narrating the story. They said, What is the story? He said, There was a man be before us who was worshipping Allah Almighty in seclusion for 70 consecutive years. No marriage, no Xbox, no nothing. He would actually come out just one day in the week to buy his uh, provisions, his food and drink, and he would go back to his monastery. Worshipping Allah, 70 years, tremendous, tremendous work. On one of those days, however, that he came out of his monastery just to buy the basic needs and to go straight back, he saw a woman and Shaitan made this woman seem very attractive and they communicated and he ended up spending seven nights with her in the haram. Yeah, seven nights of fornication. And then clouds that had covered his mind were lifted. Alhamdulillah, after what, seven days? They were lifted. And he realized what he had done was a tremendously big crime. And so he left the house of this woman feeling ashamed, embarrassed, penitent. There is goodness in the man. But he felt very weak. And the companion Abu Musa, he says, every step he was taking, he was falling into prostration. And he was getting up and taking a, a step or two. And then he was just falling into prostration. I don't even want to raise my face to look at the heavens. He continued walking aimlessly, walking, walking, until his tired feet ended up taking him to a shop where there were 12 destitute men sat down together congregating and he threw himself in their midst. These were 12 men who would sit in this place every day and there was a particular worshipper who would send them food. What would he send them? 12 loaves of bread because they were 12 men. But now how many are they? They're 13. So this man he comes and he starts dishing out their, their bread all 12 pieces and the person we are speaking about he takes a loaf of bread not knowing what's going on so what happens somebody somebody's missing his loaf of bread yeah so the man who does not receive his portion of bread says to the person who gave him the bread you have never done this before he said what do you mean he said you didn't you didn't give me my loaf of bread he said I gave 12 pieces out so ask anybody if they've taken two pieces they ask and they said no we've all got one piece and then the man who was given out the bread said to him, you are actually trying to accuse me of wanting to keep the bread to myself, aren't you? You know what? I'm never going to give you bread again. So the person we are speaking about who committed the sin, he was seeing this exchange of words. So all he did was he took the loaf of bread that he really needed and he handed it over to the person who didn't get his portion of bread. And then he left. The very next morning, this man was found dead. Who? The person who committed the sin, he had passed away. And what happened? He was presented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And now it's going to be paradise or hell. And the scales were established. And the 70 years, mashallah, 70, 70 years worth of worship were placed on one side of the scale. And those seven nights in haram were placed on the other side of the scale. And those seven nights were heavier. Yeah? Those seven nights of zina, zina is a, it's a heavy crime. Zina. Allah says, Innahu kana fahisha wasa Do not go near fornication. Allah says, do not fornicate? No. He said, do not go near fornication. In other words, all of the things that may lead to fornication, whether it's a glance or a smile or an exchange of numbers, or excessive communication, do not go near this me the means that may bring about the crime of zina, fornication. Allah says, don't go near it. So those seven nights were heavier than 70 years of ibadah. But what happened? Is he going to go to hell? No, because there is still a good deed that hasn't been weighed. And it was that loaf of bread he gave back to its rightful owner. And so the loaf of bread was now added to the other side of the scale and it came crashing down. And because of that loaf of bread, he was entered into Jannah. 70 consecutive years of worship and isolation did not save him. 
What saved him? A moment of sidq, a moment of truthfulness, a moment where he put forward the good deed, desiring only the face of Allah. 